So. <gasps> so. <laughs> to go through them all. So, basically, basically kind of epic. Yeah, basically, obviously, kind of epic. Mm. I think that covers it. Yeah, get them all kind out of the way now. Yeah. Why not? We have been asked many times, and more recently, many, many times, what we have modified on the van. Yes. And how much it cost? Yes. So I made a list. This is going to be an iron upper for me, isn't it? Um, I haven't told it up. I'll let Mandy do that at the end, and then you'll <gasps> see the shock on her face. <laughs> all the links to all this kind of stuff is going to be over on our website or in the video description. So if you are interested in understanding anything more about it or you want to go and buy it then click on the links uh, the links only work uh, so the links will work permanently but we only get our commission if you click the link and buy it within a 24-hour period yeah so if you click it and add it to your basket and then you buy it in a month of time we don't get any commission for that one just so you know because a lot of people yeah. say they like to do it that way to, to help, help us out, out a little yeah. bit so just to just to let you know because i didn't know that either yeah let's talk about batteries first we have now three 100 amp hour lithium batteries from Polynovel at a cost of 900 pounds each that's 2700 pounds worth every penny <laughs> coffee power coffee power <laughs> uh, to slightly power those obviously when it's sunny we have one 360 watt panel and 250 watt panels giving us 660 watts because you know my thing is you should always have double the solar watts as the amp hours in your battery what what, what? amps oh, okay. uh, so our solar setup is a whopping 570 pounds again coffee power yeah um the inverter that goes along with said coffee power mm. uh, is 370 pounds that's worth your three. coffee's really expensive <laughs> it's actually expensive to buy as well but yeah so it's yeah. like a three kilowatt yeah three kilowatt six kilowatt pure sine wave inverter mm. um, and to charge these things we have a victron 100 volt slash for 30 amp solar charge controller at 200 pounds mm. Um, a Victron 30 amp battery to battery charger or DC to DC charger at 250 pounds. I know that one because that was quite recent. Yep. Yeah. And even, <laughs> even more recent, it's not featured in the video yet, um, is the Victron 30 amp mains charger at 280 pounds. We also have a Victron BMV 712 at 180 pounds, and that's what tells you how much battery we've got. How up much there. coffee power we have. Currently. 72.2 percent <laughs> did get quite bad the other day we got down to what was it 28 percent or something like that yeah so hey hell um the additional bits inside like fuses breakers cables bus bars all that kind of stuff uh, that amounts up to roughly let's call it 300 pounds and then we added uh, 12 volt sockets and little special USB things like this as well as USB sockets so they we go can, with the Dometic rail system yeah the power yeah. rail stuff uh, so all those counts of accessories is another hundred pounds we've added a new new stereo so we know we added a new stereo but we've added a newer version of the new stereo yeah there's which not a we'll video about that soon. yet is there no. no we're still evaluating it still putting it through its paces before we say yep yeah, this is a good one mm. um, so stereo and speakers at 300 pounds uh, badass wheels and tyres. Badass wheels and tyres, not just any wheels no. and tyres, of course. Badass, badass. wheels and tyres. <laughs> uh, £1,150. <coughs> worth. Oh, cool. hello. Yeah, they don't do anything for my coffee. What's, no, what's they're worth every penny, though. Oh, I must They've have saved it. our bacon they lots. Have, yeah, and got us through the snow and got us home quicker. And got us to some really cool places, too. Yes, it did. Yes. So, very happy with those. A diesel heater and the extras we've included to try and make it a little bit more quiet and to duct it through our uh, van so we get heat everywhere. Mm. Uh, that adds up to £130. Um, shower head, because I mean, you have asked everything we've possibly upgraded, and we did upgrade the shower head for the, one of those higher pressure, lower water usage. Yeah, things. the ones with the little beads in. The little beads in. But they work really well because we can both have a comfortable shower, not like a very, very quick one, on 10 litres of water. Yeah. So it, it does really work. Yeah. Um, and that is £25. Um, the Dometic fridge 
which is the um, special double opening side by side lovely 12 volt compressor fridge mm -hmm. um, including um, the cupboard that was made underneath it and all the stuff we had to have to adjust the cupboard to make it fit that came to 1300 pounds yes um, and speaking of the work we had done on a van like that when we had this drawer the stupid drawer behind us in the kitchen converted into a cupboard uh, that was 380 pounds yes worth that, um, every single yeah. penny um toilet sog fan system so when we obviously use the loo the fan comes on and we don't get smells in the toilet that way nope that's about all it does it doesn't it's do anything else one. it's not the the actual sog, sog system one, yeah. it's the thetford one but yeah. yeah um that was 130 pounds it means we don't have to use any chemicals at all yeah so it's so pretty cool saving us money as we poo <laughs> This is why you don't want me on these videos, isn't it? I keep telling you. It's like I, I think it's entertaining. You just come up with stuff, <laughs> weird stuff as well. Bless you. No, damn me. Uh, you'll, we'll work out what Mandy's added to this list, no doubt. <laughs> uh, so we've got external CCTV system and the internal cameras. So we can, wherever we are, we can remotely monitor what's going on with the van. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on Coop if we've left him in the van or keep an eye on the van if we're away from the van, that kind of stuff. Uh, that comes to a total of two hundred pounds, mm -hmm. and fake plants twenty pounds. The LED strip lamps that we've got all the way around the garage, and we got them under the cupboard behind us, and the cupboards under our beds as well. Mm. Uh, that's forty pounds in total for those, including the little switches as well. They are absolutely brilliant though, because mm. they give such a lovely light under there and take up no space at all because mm. they're stuck to the wall. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then we get back onto Tinternet. So uh, Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi antenna comes to a whopping 320, but again worth every penny. Mm -hmm. uh, that is for the new stuff. You can buy used stuff if you can go and look through my links on that video. Um, you can buy used stuff. That was for if you were buying it new. Uh, the TV antenna was 30 pounds. Got one of those little stumpy antennas rather than the stupid one that does all that kind of malarkey. Yep. No room on the roof for that. We no. need it for solar. Too right, we do. <laughs> Uh, Mandy's lovely LED fairy lights. The colour ones we have here. And, then and the, the ones, ones up there. Yeah, nice soft glow lights. Uh, they are £40 in total. Yep, we, we have got four lots. Yeah. Five lots, four lots? Four. Four lots yeah. around the van, so yeah. Um, the auto 240 volt switchover, which allows us to have the inverter powering all the sockets or if we get to a hookup we plug it in and the auto switch switches over and then powers all the sockets from the um, hookup or wherever we hooked into. Mm, sure so, power. Sure power, yeah, hookup. Hookup. Mains power. All of the things. Yeah, that was £55. Um, LED headlamps which is um, low beam and high beam, uh, £25 and they passed the MRT as well so there's no issue with them. Um, and I don't know if you it is an upgrade that we did um, which was to change the fire extinguisher bottle the to very a very heavy one yeah to no. a fire uh, safety stick um, and that was 100 pounds because we got two of those and they're quite the big ones as well yeah, one in the boot and then one in the doorway there yeah nice easy access to them all isn't it yeah. don't forget as well we forgot the um amazon fire stick do we include that because we've got an alexa speaker as well Oh, she didn't go off. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, you see, they're upgrades, I suppose. But the mm. fire safety stick is what? The fire safety stick. <laughs> the Amazon fire stick. All the fire sticks. Fire uh, the Amazon fire stick allows us to watch, to utilise the Wi-Fi yeah. and watch all the stuff. So. 30 quid though. Yep. I'll add that to the list. Do you want to uh, get your calculator out? Oh. And oh. add all this up? Yes. And thirty. So, how much is that one? Nine thousand two hundred and twenty-five pounds. I think that's worth it. And that's paid out over a year, fifteen months. Yeah. Well, no, it's actually exactly one year. Oh, it's exactly a year. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So we picked up the van early March last year and it's obviously getting there now getting there now so yes about a year about um, a year so obviously not um, all not all in one go yes not all <laughs> in one go um and as you know from coming with us over the last uh, month or so um there's a big chunk of that from the last month or so as well to mm. increase our 
um, ability to be off grid yes. um, and put it with very bad temperatures um, and, um, and bad power weather, needs and bad weather yeah. and that. Yeah, because I mean, this the van was was absolutely stunking mm. in summer in Spain or oh, in yeah. sunny Spain or whatever. It and did in the everything. summer last year in the UK. Yeah, and it literally was just the we've made it so we are four season. Yeah, basically, uh, we've put a lot more reliance on our own power with having the fridge on 12 volt and pretty much uh, we can cook on 12 volt, you know, everything, coffee, 12 volt, everything runs off 12 volt through an inverter or through 12 volt natively and stuff like that. So that meant we had to up our game as far as uh, being able to charge it with a B2B or more solar to charge it that way and also to carry more battery capacity which is why we've got three of the batteries um, you've not seen some of these upgrades yet because they literally have just happened so some of these upgrades like the other battery and the solar and that um, you'll see in the coming videos but mm. we thought we'd just include them now as we go through it all yes so i can't say that spending 10 grand on your permanent home to make it so like you say it's all season four season usable or whatever so we've got all the power we need whenever we need it we can heat ourselves whenever we cold uh, we don't have to run across and get you know like lpg or stuff like that we don't have to go to a campsite all the time and hook up and everything so we are mm. totally self-sufficient i think that's all right really yep and the things like even like the SOG system for the toilet means you're mm. not relying on using chemicals or yep. having them in. Um, so it means that we can go longer away yeah. from people and away from everything. We can tuck ourselves away and, and not worry too much about that. Yep. Oh, second toilet cassette. Is that an oh, upgrade? Yeah. Second toilet. It's not really an upgrade. It's more of an emergency thing. Emergency poo. It's like carrying <laughs> two lots of beer just in case the first one runs out faster than you anticipated. Well, with me around, it's going to, isn't yeah. it, darling? <laughs> Yeah, and we've not included things like the fire pit and all that because they're not upgrades to the van, nor uh, you know um, outside chairs and all that kind of stuff because Just accessories. Yeah, they're really to the van. Maybe we'll do one on, on accessories as well, and then uh, John can start really hiding things and although he doesn't hide anything Dive. but you just be like oh yeah yeah that was a, <clears throat> yeah, that was a fiver <laughs> <laughs> don't look on amazon man <laughs> um but yeah i don't anticipate us i mean i say this quite often but i really now don't anticipate us changing much else like i say we are just in the process of um sorry <laughs> there's no need for that <laughs> No need oh, you that. guys believe him as much as I do, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Big changes anyway. So we've now <laughs> filled the roof with solar. Yeah. We've filled the battery cupboard with everything we could possibly want in there. Yeah. And um, it's all, I suppose, through experience from the last year of travelling around, being locked down, you get more time spent in a van to evaluate little things. And then whilst travelling, you get more time to evaluate what works on a beach or what works in a mountain and all mm. that kind of stuff so. yeah it's all good it is all good stuff mm. and i don't think that we've gone overboard with, with anything um i think we've literally done because we like like we've done it as john said we've done it as we've been going along so yeah. we've been finding issues that needed resolving or making better or easier or, or whatever and, yeah. and, and done it that way and it feels like it's it's a really nice fit now i mean there aren't um I've not included things like the air suspension on the van and the LPG system because that came with the it van. It did, yeah. Um, so if you include them, that's another cost, but it's not an upgrade cost that we were to pay. Yeah. So if you were to go and buy a van like ours and then say, right, well, I want it exactly like yours for being off grid, then you might want to add another 500 quid on top for little extras there. Yeah. So, yeah. But there we go. I hope that has somehow filled your day with joy to have a little <laughs> giggle at how much money we've spent on things. See, what I think is brilliant, though, is how nosy we all are. I am terrible. And yeah. it's just like, oh, I wonder how, all the, how much all the uh, upgrade things cost. Or I wonder what they've got in there now. Or I wonder. The, and I, I love watching this kind of stuff. Mm. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed compiling it all and yeah. getting it all ready. Right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, if you've got any comments about any of it, then do comment down below. Absolutely. Uh, any questions over on it, well, you can ask questions down below. Um, if you want to ask about specific things like the batteries and the solar and things like that, there are videos already on the channel about that. So please go watch those videos and then you'll probably get all your answers from them. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, we'll see you Friday. Bye. We will. Right, take, take care, care guys. Bye. Bye.